Hello, fourth grade historians. I am Mrs. Lomando and back to bring you our next lesson in our immigration unit. So let's get started. We're all the way up to lesson three, which is all about understanding, do people still immigrate to the United States today? So right off the bat, right, our initial, <clears throat> excuse me, thought should be yes, people do still immigrate to the United States today. And just like we learned in our last lesson, there's many different push and pull factors for why someone may choose to leave their home country for a new one. Today, you're going to get to explore a website with five young immigrants to find out why they left their home country for America. So today we are going to learn the immigration stories of five different children. How are their lives similar or different than yours? We will give you the link to this website in the Google Doc with our plans for the day. But let's explore what it looks like together. So you're going to get to a website that looks like this. And you're gonna see over on the left-hand side that there are five young immigrants. We have Asia, who is nine from the Ukraine, and now she lives in Georgia. We have Taylor, who is 11 from South Korea, who now lives in Georgia. We have Vandi, who's 12, who is from Sierra Leone and now lives in Revere. So Revere's in Massachusetts, not too far from us. We have Sadana, who's 11 from India, and she now lives in New York. And then we have Gabriella, who's 13 from Mexico, who now lives in Texas. Now you can explore the website by reading about the immigrant and also watching a video right here you can see is a video of the each student kind of talking about why they moved and what's different about the United States of America, what they like, what they don't like, and so on. So you're going to be exploring this website independently today. After you do that, then you're going to have a Google form to fill out. So let's take a look at what that will look like. Okay, your Google form, of course, you're gonna put your name. You're gonna first click, which immigrant did you read about? Asia, Taylor, Vondi, Sadana, or Gabriella? Then you're gonna go down and give us three facts about the immigrant you read about. Maybe you might tell us where they came from, where they live now, maybe something that they like or something that's different about America that they didn't expect. Any three facts, make sure you check that your sentences start with capital letters and end with punctuation. So today, instead of a lesson, you are going to explore the different immigrants on the website that I just showed you, and then choose one to tell us about in Google Forms. If you have any questions, please reach out to your classroom teacher. Otherwise, until next time, fourth grade historians, I'll see you then. Bye.